Hey, what's up guys? I'm Steve Wells. Um, I'm a little bit late on this, but today I want to talk about some of my favorite running gear that I used throughout 2019. So 2019 was my first year trying out lots of different gear, not just kind of sticking with the same stuff. And from that, I want to just tell you a little bit about each one of my favorite pieces of gear. So I've broken this up into five different sections because I'm using different shoes for different days. Um, some shoes I might not necessarily like for certain things, but I like for others. And so I want to take that into account whenever I'm telling you what my favorite ones are. So the categories are going to be trail shoes, long run shoes, speed workout shoes, technology, and clothing. So when it comes to trail shoes for this year, my runner up is the Ultra Superior 3.5. Used this shoe for my 50k earlier this year, but at the end was feeling like I need a little bit more under my foot, so I went out and got my number one choice for trail shoes, and that is the Ultra Lone Peak 4. So you can tell by the look of this one that I'm using the Lone Peaks a little bit more been putting lots of miles on them and really enjoying these guys. So category two is my long run shoes. For long runs, I always want to go with a shoe that I know is not going to cause me problems and is always going to be reliable, never cause injuries for me. Um, and that is why my runner up in this category is the New Balance 880. This is the version eight here because I, they last for so long that I haven't had to get the version 9 yet. They'll have the 10 out before I even get through these. Um, I usually be able to put almost 500, even possibly more miles on a pair of these before they start causing me problems. And that's why I like them so much for my long runs. But lately I have kind of been transitioning to another shoe for my long run shoe. Um, kind of similar in a way, and that is the Mizuno Wave Rider 22. So, kind of the same category of shoe as the 880 is. Um, a little bit softer cushioning, a little bit better of a fit for me through the midfoot here. So that is why it takes the number one spot in my long run shoe category. Category three is my speed workout shoes. So I want something a little bit lighter weight, a little bit more responsive whenever I'm doing faster stuff to make me feel even faster. So that's why my runner up in this category is the Ultra Escalante 1.5. If you've seen my Escalante video, you might be wondering why I chose the 1.5 when in that video I was saying I like the 2 a little bit better. And that's because with the flexibility of this shoe and everything that goes along with it, um, I actually like this one a little bit better whenever I'm doing faster paced stuff. Taking the number one spot for my speed workout shoes is the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. Um, I've found that this shoe does not work for me whenever I'm going too slow. It only wants to go fast, um, but whenever you are going fast, it really shines. So my fourth category here, the technology section. Um, the runner up here is my Trex Air. Uh, I really like the Aeropex, which if you've seen that video, you know that I prefer them a little bit over the Air, but the Air is what I've been using for a lot of 2019 and so it deserves its spot on the list um, over the Aeropex, which I was just trying out for a couple workouts. And my number one choice in the technology category has to be my Garmin Instinct. It's on my wrist all the time. You've seen it in pretty much every video, um, and I have found very few things that I don't like about this watch. If you're interested in finding out a little bit more about it, um, my full thoughts on it, go check out that video. Um, this has been working super well for me, definitely a little bit of an upgrade from the Garmin Forerunner 15 that I started 2019 with. And for the fifth and final category, I'm going to be talking a little bit about clothing. Um, these are more accessories, I guess, um, but things that really matter have really made a surprisingly large difference in my running in 2019. So the runner up for this category is my Boko running trucker hats. 
I have probably six or seven different ones of these so that I can have ones to run in and other ones to wear to work so I'm not wearing the sweaty ones to work. And I love these things. They don't have the problems that I typically have with trucker hats um, rubbing on my ears and irritating them, which I really like, but they still breathe really well and have been my go-to hat for 2019. And coming in at number one for the clothing category, um, I kind of cheated a little bit on this and squished two different things together, uh, but they're pretty similar. That is the Swiftwick Pursuit hiking socks and the Swiftwick Pursuit, uh, this is the four height that I have here. And I have really loved both of these. They are um, merino wool. I've had no problems with blisters at all when I've been wearing these. Um, don't have problems with my toes busting out through the end like I do in a lot of other merino wool socks. And I've found that um, I've just started wearing them as everyday socks because they're so comfortable to wear all the time. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, list of my favorite running gear for 2019. Hopefully I'll have some even better stuff that I will be loving even more next year. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. If you would like to see more about some of this gear that I talked about, check the description. I'll leave some links to videos that I've made of some of these different pieces of gear and you can go find some more information on them there. But for now, be sure you're liking and subscribed, and I will talk to you guys next week.